Hi everyone, I'm Mike and welcome back to the Pickleball Academy. Today, we're gonna to go over three agility drills to help you be the best you can be on the court. Our goal is to move as quickly as we can on the court. These drills are to help you be as efficient as you can in those movements. On this first drill, it's really gonna be focused on our split and us learning how to shuffle side to side. What I mean by split is a split step. This split step would look a lot like this. You'd be running up from the baseline up to the kitchen. You would widen your feet out and you would land on the balls of your feet. From there, it'd be a really quick reaction based on what the other players are doing. For this drill, you're gonna start at the baseline. If you don't have the luxury of practicing this on a pickleball court, this distance is about 10 feet. Simply, you're gonna start, you're gonna run up, you're gonna to get to the kitchen line, you're gonna do your little split step, and immediately I want you to bounce to either side. So I want you to be able to shuffle both ways. We're gonna to go to our right first, so run up, split, push, push, push. So the distance doesn't matter as much. The main focus I want you guys to have is you are working on keeping your eye level even. So I want you to be deep bending, eye level even. The benefit of that is you're gonna reduce the likelihood of you missing a shot with your eyes bouncing up and down. We wanna hit the middle of that paddle every time. This gives us the best opportunity to do so. We'll do the exact same thing for the other side. So if we ran up, we split, we can push to the left as well. It's outrageously important to make sure that you shuffle on both sides evenly. We don't want to be over-focused one side or the other. As you do your shuffle, you wanna be really firm in your legs. You wanna be holding yourself up with your legs, firm in your core, chest is upright. We wanna be able to move, reach any which way that we need to. Another huge point, really pick a spot that you can. Try and keep your eyes level as you do your shuffles. Focusing on the eye contact, and you can also change pace. We can get bigger, faster, no matter what, the goal stays the same. Eye level, deep bend, firm legs, really strong focus on the balls of your feet. That's it for the first drill. Remember, the main focus is staying low, firm, level in your shuffle. Let's move on to the next one. This next drill, we're gonna go from a shuffle to a crossover step. The reason this one's so important is because if you get pushed out wide and you don't have the time and luxury to take another shuffle to set up for a shot, we have to put ourselves in a position to make as best, the best shot we can with the conditions that we have. For this drill, you're gonna start at the kitchen line and we're gonna be working to the sideline. If you don't have a pickleball court to use, this is about 10 feet as well. So your goal is that you wanna start down in an athletic position. I want you to feel like you just finished your split, so you're on the balls of your feet. I want you to take a big shuffle out to the side into a crossover step. So big shuffle, crossover. Big shuffle, crossover. We also wanna do this to the other side. So again, make sure split, big shuffle, crossover. We're ready to make our shot. Just to reiterate, this is to help us if we get pushed out wide to put us in the best position we can be. Really wanna remind you that you wanna be really firm once you hit that crossover step to be very stable on that lead leg. That's gonna help you be able to rotate through your shot and make the best shot that you can. Now, let's move on to the next one. For our last drill, we're gonna be focusing on the drop step. In the drop step, we're gonna start at the kitchen again. I also want you to feel like you're on the balls of your feet here. We're gonna turn and open our hips and cross over our legs as we run back. So, this situation is pretty rare. Only time you're really gonna be in this situation is if you get lobbed. But no matter what, I want you to be able to move as efficiently as you can, whether you get lobbed or you need to reset, any of those scenarios. Generally, this is a scenario we do not want to be put in, but if we are, I want you to be as prepared as you can be. For this drill, we're going to start again at the kitchen. We're going to drop and open whatever side we're working on. I want to drop and open this hip, take a step, and I want to cross this knee over. So you're going to feel like you're actually doing a run here. But the tricky part is we have to keep our torso forward. We have to watch that ball in the air and see where it's going to land. So. As we return back, we're gonna have to pick up the speed, right? So split, open, run. Same concept, we wanna try and keep our eyes as level as we can here. We wanna track that ball, find the spin, see where that ball's gonna land, and where we can return it from there. And same thing goes for the other side. From the balls of our feet, turn an open hip, crossover step, and we're running. Remember starting the balls of your feet, turn and open the hip, crossover step, and we're just pushing. 
We really want you to feel balanced as you're doing this backwards run. So I recommend starting off just feeling out the footwork and starting slow. Once you build some more confidence with it, that's when I want you to speed it up. So when you get on the court and you're playing, you won't think twice about it. And there you have it. That's our final drill, our drop step. As always, thank you all for watching. My name is Mike Almarini with the Pickleball Academy. Here's three agility drills to help you be the best that you can be. Feel free to use them any opportunity that you get to help you improve in your game. As always, please like, subscribe, comment down below. We'll see you on the next one.